Welcome to the Fitness Oracle Daily Show. I am your host, John Katsavos, and today is Throwback Thursday, and we're going to go back into my past and talk about my aha moment with the term stretching, and it's a twofold experience. So I really hope you guys are going to really, really comprehend this. So uh, the, first, uh, the first time I had uh, this these questions start to pop up into my head back in 1995, about 90, yeah, 95. I had just started my uh, grade 13 at high school, Easter collegiate. And one of my classes was OAC health it was my favorite class next to art. This was my favorite class. And yes, I took away see how art and the teacher was inter was uh, I, I kind of caught him. I kind of caught him contradicting himself. I didn't say anything at the time because I'm like, whatever. I was a shy kid. Always into myself. Never wanted to talk to anybody. But I kind of caught him contradicting himself. Like at one point we were learning when we when we were learning about um ranges of motion active and passive he was explaining how the body works and i i, I in, on monday i explained i explained it to further detail but he gave us the gist of what i talked about on monday so go back and watch that because i'm not going to regurgitate we got a lot to cover today and um then we got into like uh, further deeper into the muscle and the muscle has, you know, a sarcomere and inside the sarcomere has myofilaments, uh, active and passive myo uh, myo uh, myofilaments. And, and those actually stretch. That is the only part of the human body that actually stretches. It's the actin and myosin filaments that actually stretch, but it's so minuscule that you won't even know, you won't even realize it. And um, it's so tiny that you won't even see it. You won't even feel it. You don't even have to think about it. You don't have to think about it. It does it by itself. Me doing this, I have actin and myosin filaments contracting and quote unquote stretching contracting in the bicep and they're stretching the tricep it's i you don't even have to think about it it just happens automatically and um i found it interesting because he was saying that in order for you to get a good workout you have to stretch out your clients and this and that but i'm like thinking to myself during the act during when we were when you were talking teaching us about active and passive ranges of motion why would I want to stretch somebody so I can dislocate their shoulders? I don't understand. So it left me from grade 13, left me a little bit confused. So I never stretched the quote unquote, did any stretching. I know some guys that would say, yeah, you know, stretch out your legs before a heavy workout, stretch out your body before a heavy workout. I never really did. I just went into it. And it wasn't up until I'd say maybe 10 years ago. 11 years ago, 11 years ago, where I met uh, the late, great Peter Chasen at LA Fitness. I was a personal trainer at LA Fitness in Don Mills in Toronto. And um, we were having this conversation and I was like, you know, what's this whole deal? Kind of what's this whole deal about, you know, stretching? And he just looked at me. He just laughed. He goes, I know what you're trying to say. Why don't you come out to the RTS program and I can explain to you and I can explain it to you better. And you'll be in the know more than any of these trainers anywhere in this gym. And I looked at him like, come on, man, come on. You can't be that. Come on. Just come out. Just come out. I'm like, okay. So I signed up and we were talking about this term. And he looked at me when uh, he was looking at me the whole time and smiling while he was talking about stretching. And I was like, um, wow, I feel like a first-class a-hole on this one. 
I don't really know what I'm talking about. And it was what he was saying made more sense and explained, he explained everything in a way that I could comprehend to a point. That's why I never, from that point on, I never really liked using that term. And when my clients asked me if they're, if I'm going to stretch them, I told them that's impossible. I can never stretch you. But it wasn't up until I was uh, one of his um, one of his uh, students, good friend of mine, two good they both two of two of his students, both good friends of mine. They're both in Newmarket. Brandon Green from Strata. I wear his shirts often. He's a good. He's one of the most knowledgeable people that I know when it comes to mechanics, uh, human mechanics and, and, and all that. And, and, uh, Taylor Pleschberger, another good friend of mine who works with brand, who works for Brandon at Strata. And, um, through their conversation, I was able to develop the proper language to help explain this term that we call stretching. I already understood what stretching is from Peter, but I couldn't explain it to my clients in a form where they can understand what we're trying, what we're actually trying to do rather than what the industry expects the person to, to do. This gave me the ability to now be able to come to you listener or watcher or client to give you a better understanding that you're not stretching the joint, you're increasing the control in a new range of motion in order for you to do a movement safely and not get hurt in a new range of motion. Because when we pass that controlled state, that control, that control barrier state of range of motion and go into passive, you've increased the likelihood of injury by 10. And we don't want that. We want you to be inside the controlled range of motion, but we also want you to experiment in that passive, just pass, just, just a little bit into that passive range of motion. But we do it in a way where it's not going to hurt you. We do it slowly. We do it gradually up until where you can get that full range of motion and it's all controlled. And this makes sense. This is what we want. We, people will look at it and be like, oh, this person has become more flexible, more nimble. No, 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 no. No. You still have tension throughout that joint. But it, and that tension means that you can control that joint. That's what you want. You're not stretching. You're not being more nimble. You just have a greater range of motion. And you have control through that range of motion from start to finish. What does that translate? That translates into you being able to get more muscular activity, more bigger, more stronger in a quicker period of time. And the joint will be healthy, limiting your risk of arthritis, less pain when we get older. And we all get old, regardless of what we think and what we try to do with our bodies. We all get old. Sorry to burst your bubble, people. <laughs> and with getting older, has comes new, new, new challenges in life. Love it or hate it, it is what it is. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, it's TGIF Hot Friday, and I'm going to talk about why I. If you haven't heard, if you don't understand by now why I hate the term stretching and why it should never be used again in the fitness, health, and wellness industries, it should be stricken out of the vocabulary forever. But before we go, I would just want to give you guys a big shout out. I want to thank you all for uh, watching this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please, if you're watching this, if you're watching this on Rumble or YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and share this episode. If you're listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast, 
Breaker, iHeartRadio, or whatever streaming service you use, please give us a five-star rating and a positive review as it will help us reach out to more people that are suffering from mental health issues. But before you go, I'd like to invite you to keep this conversation going by signing up to your free account at Pod Inbox. Over the years, we've discovered that in order for us to achieve the greatness that we're destined for, we can't do it alone. So in order for you to find your place back in this world, we've come across this amazing tool called, ta- called Pod Inbox, where we can get together and discuss this topic even deeper. All you have to do is click on the link in the show notes and sign up for your free account and find out for yourself how powerful community, community really is. Until tomorrow, you guys have an awesome day.